Well, good day, everybody. How you guys doing today? Feeling a little bit better? Not 100%, but I'm feeling a little bit better. So hey, check it out. We're gonna go do a tour of the observatory. A friend of mine runs the observatory up here. It's Big Bear Solar Observatory. I know a lot of you have wanted to see it, so I'm really excited to get to show it to you guys. So anyway, hope you guys are doing well. And in today and tonight, there's a chance for our first snowfall. So we might have a, a few videos coming out. For sure, we're gonna get some rain. So I'll be making a video later, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed the observatory, guys. Peace. We're on our way. Okay, you guys, so we are on North Shore Lane. So when you're on North Shore, you wanna uh, turn onto North Shore Lane. North Shore, AKA Highway 38, you'll turn on North Shore Lane and then come over here and uh, and uh, park. I think, so this is where he he told me to park to do the uh, the observatory. So before I record him, I just wanna say hi. Yeah. All right guys, we have arrived. We are off North Shore Lane at the Big Bear Solar Observatory. This is not where we are going here. This is just a parking area and an executive area, I'm assuming. We are going over here. And as I said, my friend Nick runs this place. And uh, guys, we are extreme, extremely grateful that he's doing this for us today. We are extremely, extremely grateful. Say hi, Nick. Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> he's going to be giving us our wonderful tour today. And uh, there's a slight chance, slight chance we'll be able to open the, the dome a little bit. But due to winds and the fact that we got a storm coming in, we might not be able to. But I just... I wanted to get you guys to be able to see this place. However, Nick does say it's 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 magnificent when it's open. So keep just keep your fingers crossed, guys. All right, cool. We'll see you guys in a minute. Uh, right on. We're spacey people, and I love zero point energy. That's my favorite. <laughs> Study that. Love it. I even have a little thing at home that I use with a crystal and an ample, and I use um, copper and an alternating uh, conductive and inductive. Um, Materials, copper, and um, I use uh, hot glue, and I make a um, hemispheres nested in each other in a certain configuration of 90 and 45 degrees. Wow. And then I do a cube or a sphere around that with copper um, cones inside, and it actually takes energy within the crystal, and you can feel it without touching the device. Wow. Coming off of it. So wow, that's crazy. Right. That's so, cool. So that's that, that's that, that's not from us. Yeah, that's uh, that's an old solar observatory. It's cool. uh, another I don't see. So and they measure uh, the polar shifts? So or? that that actually what it does is oscillations. It's a global oscillation. Okay. Right? So it's an automatic system. You have uh, the opening over there. Oh yeah. If you look on that side, you'll see that yeah. it goes automatically to the sun. And they have uh, I think seven units like that around the world. Oh very the same cool. one, exactly the same one. Yeah. So that you can keep an eye on the sun. Uh, very cool. Are we wow. the biggest solar observatory? Or no, they built up. Okay. Here we were. <laughs> So this is basically doing uh, solar seismology. So you look at mm -hmm. vibrations oscillating on the surface of the sun. And you can even see what's going on on the other side of the sun by, looking, uh, those, by looking at those vibrations. Awesome. Um, yeah. Wow. So, uh, NSO also uh, moved one of their telescopes on the other side. So it's not operational yet, but maybe, <laughs> I hope soon, in a few months, we'll have another large telescope over there. That would be awesome, Nick. Yeah. One other solar observatory growing up, I went to uh, oh, Fort Marshall in uh, West Texas. Uh -huh. It's uh, or no, the Marshall Observatory uh -huh. at. Uh, what is it called? At the Civil War Fort out in West Texas. So we got to go out there, and uh, that was the first time we got to see a sunspot through a telescope. Oh, oh yeah. that's great, man! Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> that's and you awesome. know, sometimes the, the sunspots are so big. That you can see them with your bare eyes. Yeah, it's yeah. Crazy. I haven't been lucky enough oh, to yeah. see one of those yet. Like these days, there are, I've seen some are pretty big. And I myself, I arrived 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you have uh, a periodicity of the activity of the sun every yeah, the 11 solar years. Yeah, the minimum. Right. Yeah. And now we are in the maximum, close to the maximum. Okay. And 11 years ago, I was still there. There was a maximum, but there was nothing compared to the ones Whoa. Yes. So I haven't seen those big sunspots yet, but they're coming. Do you have any suspic well, suspicion about the sun shifting into white phase? Uh, I don't know. No, I, I don't really. You know, I'm, I, I should say also to your people at uh, the internet is that uh, I'm not a solar scientist. 
Uh, my job here is optical engineer. So I build, design, build uh, the instruments. Uh, I'm also the chief observer, so I take care, I manage the, um, the observations. Plus manage anything uh, engineering uh, related. So maintenance mainly these days. Since we are getting older, like anybody else. So the telescope needs a lot more maintenance. Yeah, it's spectacular. Spectacular. So that's a yeah, that was, uh, that's a storm. It's from 1969. Uh, yeah, it's a bit <laughs> Wow. And uh, at the beginning, they did not have the causeway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, wow. <that's> <laughs> so we've been doing seismograms and SOHO data since like 2008. And I definitely noticed the crazy thing. Like, so they give you like a feed of the sun. like. Uh, only the sun with these big telescopes mm -hmm. but this is astronomy you have to realize that some people don't realize that the sun is a star yep. yeah. the sun is the closest star so yep. that's the easiest way to understand uh, what the star uh, what is the star the behavior of the star mm -hmm. and it has a lot of impact on our lives on earth <laughs> so we don't know much about it we realized recently that well Power grid. Everything, yep, yep. Yeah, we've had some, near, we've had some yeah. near misses too. Yes, we have. I tried something about Fairly the recently, Mayans. I heard too. I read that the Mayans said that there were these fibers that would fall down whenever they'd have solar events back in the day that would, and apparently they would do something to the nervous system to help their nervous system adjust to the sun's like rays or change. That that was some sort of ancient thing written in um, some of their codices. Wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. Look at it's that. It's nothing very fancy. It's a, a mount that anybody can, can purchase. Mm. Uh, wow. It's a small opening, but it's looking at the whole sun. Here you have a link if you want to come here. Sure. So you have an image, wow. a live image of the whole sun. And this is a small telescope. That's a small, <laughs> that's a small telescope. And we use this one as a context imager. So we observe the whole sun at a specific Performer? wavelength. And we use it also as a context imager, so for the big telescope, we can look and point anywhere we want and the big telescope will go there. Wow. Wow. So what is interesting with the solar observation is that we look at different colors, wavelengths. I don't know if you're familiar yes. with that. Um, and when you look at different wavelengths, you will look at different layers on the sun, different attitudes. And so by looking at different colors, different uh, wavelengths, you will like uh, look at different attitudes and try to understand uh, the physics of the sun by looking at different attitudes. So you will probe different sheets of the sun, and then we can model in three D what's going on. X-ray, plasma, right, the different right. parts yeah. of the plasma. Different field. telescopes will do that. Uh, UV uh, in space too. Um, so this telescope is also used at night to look at the moon. Mm -hmm. We observe the moon and we um, we do what we call the Earth shine, which which is the the light that is reflected from Earth to the Moon, back mm -hmm. to Earth, mm -hmm. and so it, it can tell us about the um, how much clouds coverage we have on Earth, okay. and so we can relate that to maybe global warming, mm -hmm. things like that. So it's a long-term um, study, takes a lot of time, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and over many many years we try to, to, to understand what's going on with this um, cloud coverage. If we have more clouds or less clouds, and it seems mm -hmm. that we may have more clouds. Yeah. <coughs> So, moisture atmosphere. So yeah, that's uh, nothing very fancy on that one. Very simple to operate. It's uh, it's automatic during the day, of course. What's the it's still awesome. Scanning the that's the barcode, you see. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, so that's what I thought. I you see a sure. different number for all positions, mm -hmm. so that tells cool. us where the zoom is. Wow, that's, what I that's very about. cool, man. Yeah. If you have questions, don't hesitate. Absolutely. Don't be shy. How do you guys know how much one of these would cost to? 
have in your home? Several thousand. Uh, I know yes, I, yes, I did. Yes, mm. yes several thousand. Uh, this mount, I don't know if they make it anymore. I don't think they make it anymore. But it's the biggest around that you can purchase. Mm. Oh. Yeah, we were just talking about because we have a, a second story that's got a large roof. It's got a good view, and we were thinking about what if we got a small observatory dome with a you know a piece of That's telescope. good. Uh, in Munri, in um, Sugarloaf. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is um, light pollution. Yeah. Yes. A lot of people yeah. in the neighborhood. Yes, I know they. We are. We have neighbors. Neighbor. We, our neighbors all around us leave their lights on all night, and we don't have a curtain in our bathroom window, and it shines straight in onto our bedroom wall. And I've asked them several times, just put it on a timer, please. <laughs> I go to bed at two in the morning. You don't have, you know, I'm not even asking you to turn it off. And, and, want is a mix between cold and hot air um, that will destroy that's what you see when you look uh, uh, above a very hot road you will yeah. see this uh, turbulence mirage look it's like yeah, yeah. The turbulence and that destroys the uh, image quality okay so we want to have a very stable atmosphere above us and which that by having the telescope on the lake because the heat the lake So that's a very unique uh, place here. Very few telescopes in the world uh, are on top of a lake. Uh, actually, I think there's only on another one, maybe or two in China and India. Wow. Wow, Nick. That's awesome, brother. And that's the reason why we have such great image qualities. The site, the site is amazing here. Absolutely. You know, we read about this. We read about the Earth Train Project years ago. Monster. So this building uh, was built in 1969. Uh, Woodstock. I'm dressed for Woodstock. <laughs> oh yeah, that's could be nice in here. Like <laughs> <laughs> them. We look for aliens, man. So it's uh, New Jersey Institute of Technology. That's uh, my employer. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, they purchased the place to Caltech in 1997. Oh wow. As you said, you guys, New Jersey Institute of Technology, that is his employer. It's important that we get that up there. Thank you, man. Yeah, appreciate it. So, that's just to create clean air. Clean yeah. Clean air. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to get the tiles so free. Thank you. So, you have this old feeling, right, of the building. Oh, yeah. It doesn't feel like it's it like an old college. Well, it totally, that is so totally awesome. does. You have a toilet pump here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So, that's on. Perfect. Okay, so we cool. just few pictures before we oh, move forward because um, we are not open today, obviously. It's windy, yeah. so you won't see any live uh, images. Uh, mm -hmm. So maybe you can see the early around here. So that's the construction site, by the way. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. That's how they. Uh... Okay. Oh, wow. So they, uh, they did the construction here. There was no water. Everything was fine. It was great. It was easy to construct, and there was a big storm. Uh oh. <laughs> and then it was not finished and then it was filled with water. You can see the dock here. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And that's the, where the causeway was? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah then the causeway, yeah. Yeah, you see the dome, it's different. There was a smaller dome. Yeah, yeah. The, the telescope, telescope was smaller. It. And so there was a small yeah. dome and now we have a bigger dome because the telescope is bigger. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> An old telescope. I haven't seen this telescope when I arrived here, I think. It was gone like a few days before, right? Oh. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so what I said, yeah, that was Phil Goody. He was a director of the Southern Observatory until recently, 2009. He stepped down and he's the one that had the vision of putting on the telescope here. He was my director for a long time. So that's the, yeah, that's the um, drawing of the building. So we are. Uh, we are below the level you see here, mm. so we don't see it here. Mm. Oh. But we're gonna go through all of this. And since we are not observing, I'll be able to show you the instruments. Oh, cool. okay. Awesome, awesome. Nice. awesome, awesome.
So that's a good thing. So that's um, what I said about turbulence of the atmosphere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's very important. When you have a large Whoa. telescope like that, you want to be able to see the fine details. Yeah. And to be able to see the fine details, you have to go beyond uh, the limitation of the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. The, you know, the mix between yeah, hot and cold yeah, air. Yeah. And so we have a system for that which is called adaptive optics that will uh, measure the turbulence and correct for it okay. wow. in real time. So it's going like 2,000 times per second. We measure the turbulence, That's process. we calculate what we need to do, calculate, and then we, we send that to what we call a deformable yeah. mirror, mm -hmm. which is a mirror with some actuators underneath mm -hmm. that will push and pull the membrane on the mirror mm -hmm. very quickly and compensate for the turbulence of the atmosphere. Wow. Oh, wow. And you can see the effect on the left, it's without the adaptive optics, it's all blurred. Mm -hmm. Cold and hot, again, you're yeah. still yeah, mixing. Yeah, see it. On the, in the middle, that's with adaptive optics on, so then we can see the full resolution. And then we can do some cross processing with computers to yeah. get perfect image quality. And the filaments in this, in this spot. Yeah. That's a Crazy. light bridge, yeah, that's what we call a light bridge. That's yeah. incredible. That's what it's pretty so it's like there's a twister in the Well, I mean, like the, the phalanges all around, it's like a sea yeah. anemone. Yeah. yeah, very cool. So, anemone. sunspot, <laughs> it's, it's, it's black because it's just colder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the answer is cold. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah exactly. It's colder. Yeah. I think it's actually cold fusion inside and when it meets with the space that it's creating fire, like the two connecting, but that's my opinion. You know? And so that's <laughs> the GUI, that's how we operate uh, adaptive optics. Those are the mirrors? Or uh, yeah, on, on mirror? the right I will show you. We will okay. see the, we will go upstairs in the, cool. in the lab. We will see that for real. Cool. Here it is, the different mirror. Oh. And that's here, yeah, classic adaptive optics. Yeah. So you can see that's uh, granulation. Mm -hmm. uh, Clear as been the same. And now we have a new system, what we call multi conjugate adaptive optics, with even more complex adaptive optics systems. Mm -hmm. So it's not one deformable mirror, but three deformable mirrors. Oh, I can wow. talk about that more later. Triangulation. To have a, to to correct for a volume, mm -hmm. not just one direction. Mm -hmm. Because can, you can see the limitation of the classical adaptive optics is just. It gives you an image, a nice image, only in the center. Yeah, it gets blurred. Yeah. It's pinpoint clear. And so yeah. with multi-conjugate adaptive optics, it gives you a wow. nice image all over. Very impressive. I don't want to go too slow, or because I know that after point, there's too much information to saturate very quickly. Cool. This, this is this is the information I love to absorb. Fire hose. Okay. I'm such yeah, a dry yeah, sponge when it comes to this stuff. Yeah, we're like yeah. that. Yeah. And here, that's an instrument. So that's what uh, some kind of data the scientist would look at. Um, and we are looking at a specific wavelengths here, that's H alpha, which wow. is 656 nanometers for detail. <laughs> so it's red, it's in the red. Okay. And that's uh, helium, it's coming from the, the helium of the sun. And uh, you can scan uh, here, that's your wavelength here. Okay. Yeah. And you can scan from one side to the other side, and you will see different features and different jets. Measured in angstroms. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, uh, you can see some new features appearing as you go, as you move in. Uh, yeah. And then you get into line center here. It's beautiful. Very cool. Wow. It's almost like a face. It and looks like in the we side. we move away and we can see new features again appearing. Wow. And you can see jets. It can give you the mm -hmm. speed of the jets moving towards you, uh, away from you. So that's a lot of information here that can be useful really for, cool. for scientists. That's another example of an image. Mm -hmm. right. A light bridge. Yeah. Nice. It's spiraling too. Yeah, it looks like a flower, those sunsets. Uh -huh. It does. And mom. And they're all different. You know, every day you can look at different things. If you look at granulations like this, it's kind of the same always. It's yeah. bubbling. Like and cells and almost. So, yeah, here yeah, basically that's, uh, actually that's yeah, a nice video, but yeah. it's basically a, a magnetic field that, you get, that moves both lines. Mm -hmm. of plasma. The plasma is moving along those magnetic field lines. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an old video, but still a good one, of granulations. Nice. So the hot plasma is rising, cooling down, and sinking. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit like when you look at a, a bowl of soup, hot mm -hmm. soup, you will see this motion also. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or like glitter in water and like, yeah, uh -huh. like it, mica. Yeah, mica. Mm -hmm. Another movie. Oh, yeah. And that's the that's video. Wow. Uh, and the uh, lens, so you can see the projection. Nice. 
That's very cool. And that's John. Hey, John. Hello. Our uh, observer of the day. Hey, John. Hi. How you doing, John? Hey. Look at that. That's just spectacular. Very All good? Cool. That is spectacular. I'm, I'm going to go to Shore to change your tape. Okay. I'll be back. All right. But everything is should be good for now. You can push me aside anytime you want. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't want to be. No, you're good. There's plenty of room for me to scoop up. Okay. 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 That's that's right. that, by the way. Uh, okay. So the video is a bit slow. It's loading, but that's a nice flare. So it's sort of wow. brightening wow. of the sun. Wow. And then you have all this ejection of material and, mm -hmm. and falling back onto like the sun. Like an ocean wave, very much. So. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. like a tsunami. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, okay, I think now it's more smoother now. Whoa. Fluid dynamics. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that is such a trip. <laughs> it's almost like saying electricity. Yeah, you can see a lightning yeah, bolt a, on the other side. Like, it looks like a lightning. There camp. are some connections there with magnetic field, electric field, mm -hmm. everything is connected there. Yes. Almost, almost like a Lichtenberg wood burning, too. Yes, it the is that lightning, lightning, lightning shape. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and that's uh, well, same size, huh? Look, uh, uh -huh. sun and uh, the moon. And you can see <laughs> the turbulence. <laughs> the turbulence I told, told you yes, about. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. The, point point. Mm -hmm. the jets behind, you see, it's all blurred. So that's a real image, that's not uh, photoshopped. I've actually <laughs> seen a wave move across the moon in video before. It, was like a little, it looked like a liquid. Like, and then, right, like the eclipse. Mm -hmm. By the way, in two weeks we have an eclipse. Yes. So we, we have, have several. Right. We have an event here, you're welcome. I don't know if here, but uh, okay. we have some uh, viewers to look at the eclipse. Excellent. Oh, I, we, so y'all provide the... Yeah, we'll have also, also some glasses. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we were we were up in uh, Baldwin on the mountaintop for the last full eclipse. Like, on a big what was it? 10 acres. How many years ago? Five years ago? It was six years ago. It was at the full eclipse. It was like 2017. It was a solar. Yeah. Yeah, a solar eclipse, yeah. yeah. Haven't seen a lunar eclipse. Oh, yeah, that's what I was telling you about the moonshine. Mm -hmm. The moonshine, sorry. Mm -hmm. the, refra the refraction of light. Uh -huh. And the more they come true, the more that it reflects. Mm -hmm. And the other stuff. <laughs> oh, cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. Definitely. Thanks, Thanks guys. Nice to meet you. Now let's see the real stuff. <laughs> All right. Hey. All right, guys. Let's do this. Thank you guys for being cool with me doing this. I, yeah. I, I, I really appreciate it. When we have water here, oh, the next oh, the wall is high enough. I see the line. Oh, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I bet that's more. Those days are probably more. Yeah, it's more. You call it again. You want to be optimistic. Oh, I, I, uh, yeah, she was. I love it. I said it was gonna be cold. It's warmer at my house, yeah. Here we are, yes. I oh, know we're not there yet. Yeah, for sure. It's the only benefit of being short I've ever found. <laughs> I'm not going to have to worry about that. Wow. Wow. Nick, for real, man, this is insane. Spectacular. I'm going to open the dome. Awesome. Because the view is worth it. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? We're going to open the dome here. So, of course, we got this massive telescope. Exciting, I can't believe we're in here. So before the system settles settle down, I can explain you a little bit. So this telescope is very uh, special. Uh, it's off-axis. What it means is that you have the primary mirror there, so the light goes onto the primary mirror, and then after it focuses. But the focus is not f above the primary mirror. 
it's away from it and you can see it, it's there. So it does not block the incoming light. So that makes it a lot better in terms of image quality and, uh, and uh, makes it also simpler to, to utilize. Uh, but that's very difficult to polish this, this mirror. So you need a special techniques for that. And the techniques was developed at in Arizona, University of Arizona. And they used our mirrors to develop the techniques for the giant Magellan telescope that they are building. Uh, it's in a 30 meter telescope. Yeah, now you need a lot of countries involved in this project because they are so expensive. Mm -hmm. You cannot have only one agency to take care of that. It's too expensive. What's a, teles a telescope like this cost? What's that? What does something like this run fiscally? Uh, you mean uh, the budget per, per year? No, no, no. How much for the telescope? Oh, for the telescope, the whole thing. Uh, a, a couple million, probably. Oh yeah, more than that. But but that was cheap because, as I said, they had to discover the, to find out the, the techniques to polish, and so they had to use a, a dummy mirror to, to try the techniques. And the field body, the director at that time, he said, "Hey, hey, we have a mirror to be polished. So can you make it cheaper for us?" So we had a cheap primary mirror made. And at the same time, I was a path uh, finder for polishing the large mirrors. So that was a win-win situation. Thank, thank you for being a wealth of knowledge, Nick. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I feel like we're in a spaceship looking out the, <laughs> looking out the window. Oh, that's a step. Cool. So here we are. Here's Snow Summit right there. Right outside the window. How awesome is that? Hi! <laughs> and then we got our storm coming in. Today. Yeah, we see them. Yeah, so beautiful. Did you get some photos? No photos. I got video. Video? Just okay. Incredible. Get some... You can just peek well, I go through the video. You're right. Right. You're right. Okay, what? so maybe Mom tells about the telescope itself. Yes. Uh, well, let's follow the light. The is this how it's focused? Um, no, no, that's that's a cable cable wrap. Oh, so I'll show you. Here you have the you have the cell. The primary mirror is inside this cell. So that's a 1.7 meter uh, in inch. I don't know how to do the measure. Um, 1.7 <laughs> meter, but the mirror is top down to 1.6 meter. So that was the largest uh, solar telescope in the world for a while. And only recently, like three years ago, there is a new one in Maui, which is much bigger, but a lot more money involved. Sure. <laughs> uh, but I still think that we, for now, we still have uh, the best images. So, so it's it's okay. Okay. Coronavirus, the, you said Maui? Maui, yeah. <laughs> and it's okay, though? It didn't get yeah, it's on mountains. Okay. Uh, you just cool. kicked me out of the way. Yeah. You know, telescopes have to be high <laughs> I appreciate in it. the mountains to, be, uh, to reduce Less the atmosphere, atmosphere. <laughs> right? So this mirror cell here keeps the, the primary mirror at touch, basically, so it's floating. You can move it with your, with your finger. You have all those here levels that you see here, those weights that are pushing against the primary mirror and keep it floating. So wherever the telescope position is, it will not get deformed. You don't want to have anything pushing on it. Even just a little bit and you will see deformation and uh, the loss of image quality on our images. So it's very important to keep that in the right shape. Uh, so the light falls into this primary mirror and is reflected off axis, as I said, over there. Just over there, you see this shiny stuff with a, with a black dot. Okay, yes, yeah? yes. Um, higher. Okay, I see. Yeah. There. Oh, that, there. oh. Here, here, that's the heat stop. Here you have the... Let me zoom in. Here, yeah. That's where the image of the sun is, when we are on the sun. The image of the sun is about 38 millimeters, so it's, so it's very small. I don't know if Jody, when he was a, a, a younger, played with the magnifiers. Yeah. yeah. You know, you can burn yourself yeah. pretty badly with a tiny magnifier. Bigger than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. So <laughs> now you have a big one like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to be careful. It'll vaporize you. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! 
That's what happens when you're not careful. <laughs> wow. This is highly reflective and dusty now. Um, stainless steel. Ooh. It's thick. And that's a few seconds. Well, that's very just good. a few seconds. Just a few seconds. Yeah. That's uh, maybe 30 seconds. And that's a, a plate that was there to sacrifice itself, that was there for safety. Mm -hmm. So the plate did its job, just went through and cut the beam. Yeah. But, uh, Jeez, that's insane. So, so there's no joke. So you have to be careful with Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we keep it here, you know, as a reminder <laughs> to stay humble. Yeah, yes. to stay very humble. Yes. 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 That's gnarly. That really is. Star Wars phaser beam. So now you have yeah, blaster. Here it's very bright. So you have the plane there that will reflect most of the light, and it reflects on the dome. It's very bright. Yeah. And we have only a tiny part of the light that is going through. So the sun is very large, but we look only on a tiny, tiny part of the sun. Okay. We are a high resolution telescope. Right. Uh, by the way, high resolution to have the highest resolution, you need the highest primary mirror. The bigger the primary mirror is, the finer the details you will see. Yeah. So that's why we're always talking about bigger it's telescopes, bigger mirror, because it's what matters yeah. here. Yeah. It's slightly convex, right? So that's, yes, that's a special shape here, yeah, that's um, parabola, parabolic yes. shape. Yeah. Off axis, parabola, parabola, with the focus over there. Okay. And behind that, you have a secondary mirror. Uh, behind oh, behind the heat stop. And this one is uh, elliptical. And the light will go down onto this mirror here, just above me. Mm -hmm. It's protected by a plastic cover now. And then it goes into the declination axis here. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was looking from over there. I could see through the hole and I saw the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. The light goes down, down into the, the computer. Yeah. Okay? Wow. So that's the path. Now, what we do in the morning, we point to the sun. You have the, dec the declination, so the telescope here will move, depending on the season. Okay, so you have winter. Summer. Okay. The sun will go up this yeah. way. Winter, summer. And then you have the morning, east, west. So the telescope will move depending on the season. Let's say this way first, up, and then it will go the morning. It will, it will rotate mm -hmm. around, around this axis. It will rotate this way, east. And is it auto tracking? Computer yeah. Yes. Mankind's ingenuity just blows my mind. <laughs> Seriously. And, yeah, the, the, the telescope itself, the mount is pretty good. You have also those big tubes here, you're wondering what it is. It's just big carter weights, very heavy weights, that are just there to make, to uh, uh, balance the telescope. So for every declination position, those counter weights will move along the tube to keep the telescope balanced. So the telescope is finely balanced. You could move it again with your fingers. It's that well balanced. And uh, those uh, big weights, they create a lot of vibrations when they move up and down. But we don't care because it's only once a day that we move those counterweights. The morning, when we move the declination axis. And then, during the day, we move east-west. And this rotation is very smooth. Doesn't make any noise, doesn't make any vibrations. You don't want any vibrations in this building. Yeah, this is something. So the secondary mirror up there also is mounted on the hexapod, which is six degrees of freedom platform that will move all over. And so we move it a specific way to, um, to keep this mirror, the primary and the secondary mirror aligned during the day because you have flexure, because you have change of temperature. And so you have all these deformations that will destroy again the image quality. So you need to keep that aligned. Fine tuning. Yes, fine tuning, like a, a thousandth of a hair, something like that. Yes. Yeah, we work with NASA too, and uh, they install the camera here. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, weird camera in a way because it observes two wavelengths at the same time oh. in the infrared. Uh, four microns, I think, and uh, seven microns. Uh, and they're interested uh, in looking uh, at flares. So we have already some pretty good data that we took this winter. But yeah, usually we observe with this camera during winter because it's infrared. And in infrared, it's more forgiving, the image quality, uh, if we have turbulence, uh, the turbulence is more forgiving for infrared lights mm -hmm. than visible lights. Okay. So that's, yeah, that's one of the instruments that we have. We have another instrument that is downstairs, just downstairs, that we should have later. And we have most of the other instruments in the 
des rues. Voilà. Voilà. <laughs> But the light here, we follow the journey of the photon. Yeah. I love photons. Right? You like NASA? <laughs> They are. Space NASA. <laughs> you want to hear something cool? My uncle Ted worked for JPL for many, many, many years. He built and designed the heat um, shield for well, Galileo well, and led all the Juno missions. Yeah, I have a friend who works in this. Oh, that's great. We call them Juno missions. Yeah. Do yeah. uh, you know about the Juno for part of the observatory over in Urban Lake? A real rocket scientist, right? Like, yeah. how cool is that? <laughs> Imagine the brains you have to so possess to be able to, <laughs> to do something like that. <laughs> That's amazing. The light goes through the lens. You have two mirrors here. Well, it's covered, yeah, of course, because we have a lot of dust. It's in the yeah, yeah. So you want to avoid to have too much dust in Poland. You can see Poland, it's still yellow here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh I know, I know, I'm always... So if it's not Poland, if it's not dust, it's uh, spiders, it's birds. Uh, <laughs> spiders, spiders. Fighting with the elements, and that's fine. That's part of the deal. Mm -hmm. What was this? I, I, again, I was talking to my new buddy over here. So right that's, now. you have a doublet here, which is a lens. Okay. Yeah, we uncover that. Okay. So the light here goes down here, and then we have mirrors here. Okay. So more mirrors, then another mirror here, and it goes down here. The light goes down there. Amazing. So we Amazing. have uh, this option. We can also move this stage here, and we have another mirror that goes up here, mm. that goes to another instrument there. Yeah, covered. Yeah, covered. Data collection all over the place. So we choose which instrument we want. Okay, cool. And you find some scientists, of course, what they want to observe. Mm -hmm. And so these windows just started to Yeah, so those, those are vents. And why do you have those? And because again, turbulence. So you don't want to have a mix of hot and cold. You want to have the same temperature inside, inside and outside. outside. Okay. So what we do, we open those vents here, and we have also blowers that will suck the air in and outside to mix all this air so there's no bubble of hot air around and destroying the image for it. Wow. And so in the winter you have to dress warm every day. Well, we don't observe from here. Okay. We come here. Okay. We, we open from here because it's safer. Hearing, watching, everything. Mm -hmm. Sure, everything's fine. Um, but we observe from downstairs. We have a room, a warm room down there. I can't do it. So the door also will open. You can go up. I can show you. Oh yeah. Sure. Oh, I'll show you. Absolutely. Because these can also rotate. Mm. Okay. It's like the yes, higher really restaurant. <laughs> All right, Jovi, what is rotating? Uh, what a trip. Oh, yeah. What is rotating? What is it? This is the oh. uh, window. Because sometimes you can have the perception that you are rotating. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> it's dangerous when you're on the ladder, you know? Oh, you yeah. Yeah. Like the <laughs> yeah. 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 To a restaurant like this, but I got the uh, moving part. So, so basically, what this does is it will follow the opening here, will just follow and align with the opening of the telescope. Mm -hmm. So, we point the telescope and then the door will follow. Uh -huh. They stay aligned and we make sure they stay aligned. Yeah. And those clouds are coming in. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah, 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 about two, two o'clock, it looks like our. First little bit of rain today. If we get lucky, we might catch a snowflake in the evening, but I doubt it. Wow, man, this is this is so awesome. I'm so I'm so thankful for you for doing this. For so that's yeah, as I said, because this <laughs> rotates east west, it's a cable wrap. So the cables are just wrapping around the axis. Uh, what else? Any questions? So what are these individual things that are going on the side? Do you guys see those are also tubes? No, those tubes, you have feet. It's like a horror film. It's like a horror film. Yeah, totally, it's a scary movie. Um, 
those are big uh, counterweights inside the tubes mm. that move oh, up yeah, and down sorry, to, keep the, that to keep the things going. <laughs> and so the, last question. the motors adjust the weight inside the tubes? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Those are uh, inside the tubes, I think it's 700 pounds each counterweight. That's a lot of, lot of things. Yeah. 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 yeah, so you have to be very careful also making sure the telescope cup is balanced, otherwise yeah. oh, you're yeah. going to have the whole thing. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, you don't want that. We have oh. a 10 or 12 inch. By the way, or, oh. yeah. The 10, 12, or 14 inch. I can't remember this. Oh, we have a, a telescope at home. Uh -huh. a large. Oh, you have counterweights too. No, no, it's, it's just that it's the big cardboard tube one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. 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 So it's light enough. Stand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We were given that so one. that's New Jersey, and also that's NSF. Our money mostly comes from National Science, Science National Science Foundation. Yeah. This is very important, you guys. Very important. Um, okay. Uh, what else? I could spend the whole day here. Oh, I bet. Oh, oh fine details. Yeah, totally. I can't think of anything else to ask. I just, well, I'm also it's all coming up. It's awesome. <laughs> Fantastic, man. Way more in depth and thorough than I ever imagined. This I didn't get as good a tour as <laughs> No, thank you. It was great. <laughs> after a while, I know I gave a lot of tools. And after a while, you can see some tasks. <laughs> and I understand totally how we get there too. Can, that, that tells you like the level of their absorbency to <laughs> new information. Yeah. We watch like two, three, so four like, hour documentaries and like, stuff. Uh, we're, we're used to large buckets of information being dumped on us. Yeah, I've been studying all kinds of all right, stuff. Alright, it's right <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys. Uh, cool. Thank Thank you. You. That is such a trip, Nick. That is such a trip. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> look, look at this guy. This is worth the price of admission, just riding on this thing. This is awesome. Look at, look at that. <laughs> Wow, Nick, that is so cool. That's cool. <laughs> it's so I cool. That kind of stuff. <laughs> See, now, if this was focused on, on seeing stars, it wouldn't, I mean, how far away could this thing look? Um, yeah, we could, we could do that. However, we found out that the lake that is good during daytime uh, is bad during nighttime because uh, the lake is then hotter than the lake. Oh, it's, it's, hot hot too. it's hotter than the air. Than oh, yeah. the air so lots of fog. True. So you have, it's not fog, it's just hot the ground by the yeah. yeah, destroying the image quality. Yeah. But, but we could essentially observe stars and we actually did that when we were aligning with this. At the beginning, we were pointing at some stars. Uh, but it's other not, stars. It's not, it's not the other stars. <laughs> But um, uh, yeah, we are not really doing that because it's not really set up for that. We don't have the yeah. instruments. We don't have the guidance. The funding system. is for, oh, for the sun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't get this good of a tour at the Marshall Observatory in Texas when I went as a kid. They, mm -hmm. kept, they kept us all downstairs. Yeah. 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 Nick, you, 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 you're doing a fantastic I job. Yeah, he's, I love he's, it. Isn't yeah. he doing a great job? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's fantastic. There are some of us out there that we like the Firehose version. We're like, take it in. <laughs> totally. I'm right there with I'm, you. I'm, I'm, my brain. It's just fractal. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to the third floor All right. to the spectrograph. Okay. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, there's a lot of Yeah, I closed down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I still have Photon journey Woo! towards the cameras, science cameras. Our photonic journey. I love that, our photonic journey. Yes, and photons are magenta, orange, neon green. So, wow. Mm -hmm. And also, it's a Russian ice color. <laughs> 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 My favorite color. Uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> neon color. Most of the time, we use instruments downstairs, mm -hmm. and the light goes down into this other uh -huh. house. So wow. what you saw here, we have the opening and then the light goes down here. Oh, okay. that's incredible. I think yeah, that's the box we were looking at, yeah, uh -huh. standing next to. So that's one option. Mm -hmm. The other option, and we used that instrument last week, uh, is to send the light here. Mm -hmm. nice. Okay, right here. Wow. And this is an infrared spectrograph. So that's here we are looking more into the infrared, mm -hmm. towards the red, beyond the red, visible red. And um, 
Light we have a lot light. of optics here, and if you look carefully, you will still look at those mirrors. The mm -hmm. color, the gold, the gold plated. Uh, yes, really. they are not silver like the other ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's because it's better in infrared. The reflectivity is better. Mm -hmm. It makes sense because so it's more. So that's real gold. Warm yeah. color. Mm -hmm. It's very thin. You cannot make mm -hmm. money out of that. Look over there, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, you're wearing a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> It would only be pasties, really. Golden pasties. So yeah, it's a little bit complicated. There are lots of bouncing yeah. here. Yes, of light. At the end, the light goes into this big box. And the light know. will come from that hole up there. Yes. Down into oh, this wow. one. This is, uh, <laughs> this is just That's way beyond my, uh, my brain's capacity like to, to understand. It's like Stargate. <laughs> And so this thing, we keep it very cold. Yeah. It's the, yeah. the sensor is at um, 30 degrees Kelvin. Oh, Kelvin. Oh, uh, Minus 240 uh, degrees Celsius. Minus. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Translating. Halfway yeah. to zero. <laughs> to keep the temperature that cold, we also need to vacuum. Everything so there's no air inside. We vacuum, yeah, so we have it. vacuum pumped and we have cry coolers. Oh, and it makes yeah. a lot of noise and it's yeah. uh, uh, so we were running that last week. And uh, why do we keep it cold? It's because it's infrared and mm -hmm. everybody emits infrared light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want to limit the number of optics. Yeah. 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 So you want so you want all these optics to be cold yeah. so that you can see your signal. Yeah. So many optics inside wow. stay cold. Otherwise, it's like trying to take a picture with a camera with the inside of the camera all lit up. The, yeah. The yeah. tubes. Right. <laughs> yeah, good analogy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what are the bags on top? <laughs> I always have this question. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should reuse What are you guys up to? <laughs> it's because we have vibration. We, we okay. had some vibrations. Ah. So, we thought that putting some bags here Thanks. would uh, help oh, a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. So turn the kinetic energy yeah. into heating energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all those little bits will move. Yeah, the capture and then and can help, yeah. Okay. So yeah. maybe it helps a little bit, but we have no clue about that. <laughs> I may not hurt any things. Mm -hmm. Maybe if y'all had like silicone rubber inserts to fill those spaces. We have um, That's a good idea. Hmm. we have a lot of cryo pumps there that heat. But the same, yeah. lots, of, lots of vibrations. The fertility yeah. of the sand though is, yeah. is, is that helps. I mean in the different board. parts, really? yeah. Mm -hmm. Helps to capture it in between and so I didn't say but we have also compressed air all over. And uh, above the heat stop that you saw uh compressed upstairs, air right there. Mm -hmm. We have some air flowing across the heat stop ah. as because it's very bright during the day. Yeah. So you will have all the insects, they see this bright, they just go ah, there. Yep. <laughs> Vaporize, oh. <laughs> and so you have the heat stop that will turn black essentially. Oh wow! So that means yeah. that uh, the heat stop at the end also that the heat stop there. There's a liquid <laughs> that circulates inside the heat stop mm -hmm. yeah. that keep uh, the heat stop uh, cold. Okay. Otherwise, it would melt. Like uh, yeah, what yeah. you saw. Wow. So the insects that will come, the vaporize, burn. <laughs> The heat stop will turn black, okay, and this thing will absorb more energy, so it will reach some limits. So, oh, yeah. so we have to keep this thing clean and yeah. highly reflective. It also keeps the, the temperature of the air right above the same temperature as everywhere else. Which is good. Mm -hmm. Get your consistency. Yeah, that's the expansion, the contraction, the temperature really is good. That's the pier of the telescope. Oh, okay. So the old telescope was at that level before. So the old pictures you saw, the old dome, the telescope was mounted here. And the dome was just started here. Oh, okay. Here. So okay. we raised the whole thing with the deck here. This is new. Yeah. And the pier now is bigger, much bigger, to accept a much heavier telescope. Mm -hmm. So um, this is an old building. You know, uh, the newer telescopes, newer telescope buildings, they don't have the pier connected to the building. Okay. You don't want to have any vibration in your building, oh, right. feeling into yeah. your pier and feeling into your telescope. So, but that's the old building, so we have the pier, and that's just the way it is, pier connected to the building. So when people walk, you can essentially see that ah. in the image. Oh. Quiet on the set. <laughs> yeah. And here we have the blowers. Okay. So those things just suck the air in. Okay and keep the temperature uniform and the same as outside. And like the best collector ever, which out. <laughs> yeah, because that's what it is.
I okay. send some of the dust outside too. Yeah. yeah. This is all right too. No problem with that. This is very cool. Yeah, this is fantastic. All right, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to build an observatory on the house. <laughs> I'd like to impose and come over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Teamwork. <laughs> totally, dude. <laughs> Are you monetized on YouTube? I am. I'm try I need to get there. We run uh, the Farm to Mountain uh, Produce Company up here. And so we do direct to home food delivery from local farm. Really? Yeah. yeah it's only and so I'm use. trying to start up a uh, yeah. uh, balling on a budget organic uh, yes. like cooking yeah. channel. Mm -hmm. Nice man. We're looking for a new organic farm that can handle more, you know, more orders. So, so. We're all, we were on hiatus after the, the storeroom? 38 crowd. That's the instrumentation Ooh. room. That's a cooling room. Not everybody gets to see it. Oh, oh. oh. It's because it's cloudy. Look, Wow, this is. Hey, what's this worth? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you see the upstairs with the beds, the lens that I uncovered. Oh wow, yeah. Oh. And now I see the light goes down here. Holy and crap. The is there. So now the light goes here, down here. I'm going to turn my flash on because it's not going to catch that. And the light goes down onto a deep tilt mirror, what we call a deep tilt mirror, which keep. If you look at night, the stars, the stars are on. Yeah. Oh, Wiggly. Yeah. 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 I thought it was twinkling and moving around. But well, with this deep tilt, you Absolutely. get your star will stay locked on. Yeah. Like your image stabilized on your phone. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's doing the same trick. Yeah. So it's stabilizing your image. So that's the first optics down there. Then we have a bunch of other optics. Then down there we have the deformable mirror. I talked about adaptive optics. The mirror with the actuators underneath. Mm. And then we have more optics. And here, we uncover this. Down there we have what we call a dichroic that separates different colors. So you have the infrared going through, the visible being reflected. And it goes into different instruments. Different colors, different wavelengths, yes. we go to different instruments. That is the wavefront sensor for the adaptive optic system. So this camera, you know, measuring the turbulence, this system is measuring the turbulence 2,000 times per second. It's a good system here. Yeah. And then, yeah, down there, yeah, yeah, here we have distribu we're yeah. distributing the, the lights. It's hard to see, but we have cube beam splitters and dichroics. And some light is reflected, some light is going through the infrared. So yes, that's what we call a dichroic. Um, here the light, infrared light goes through and the visible light is reflected. So the infrared light goes through here and goes into this instrument here. I love this part. Here you have more stuff inside. The visible light is reflected and goes into this instrument here. That goes there and you have one of those here. So we have also those important elements here, this, and we have here, down there, here, that's called Fabry Perros, those system. This is a Fabry Perros, that's an interferometer. Basically what it does, it's a filter. By changing the thickness of this filter, which will, will change the wavelength. So by fine tuning the thickness, you can decide which wavelengths you want to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's... The, the, the videos you saw downstairs uh, of different features with different wavelengths was so taken with this. this can see all the way, like gamma included and no, stuff? No, it's only okay. visible. Only this telescope is only visible and uh, uh, to the infrared up to 5 okay. microns upstairs. Okay. Here in this room, we go up to 1.5 microns. Wow. Uh, the visible light, uh, the, limitation, the limit visible infrared is about 700 mm -hmm. millimeters. 0.7 microns. Uh, yeah, so that's the, the instruments, visible, infrared, they do more or less the same thing, they scan different wavelengths. We have a lot of wavefront sensors, again, to keep the image quality as good as possible. Um, as I said before, the limitation of the adaptive optics, and you saw the video downstairs, mm -hmm. uh, it gives you a correction on average of a small field. So we have multi-conjugate adaptive optics, that gives a correction of a larger field. Okay, yeah, you can and if you go up there, go up. <laughs> oh, we can see through its camera. Steps? We can see through its camera. <laughs> Do you have anything to step on? No. No, but we can see it through our cameras, isn't it? Okay. Well, here I can point. Yeah, we see you. Here, yeah, we you it. see those black boxes here? Uh huh. Those ah, yeah, are right there. Yeah. Right here, yeah. Those are deformable mirrors. You can see the cables behind. Ah. 
they are connected to the actual address in the back of okay. the mirror. Those things are really good, very expensive. And they adjust inside the box? They are just pushing and pulling the on the membrane one? of the mirror. Okay. Or okay. brass. Oh, so it's a reflective membrane? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you have, it's a membrane with actuators all, all over. We have 300. Oh, this is my favorite part, by the way. 357 actuators in the back. Part. Yeah. And they are pushing and pulling on this. Oh, this is so cool. So the membrane is moving, it's changing its shape. Yeah, and it can actually correct it. Right. It, like deformation. So we measure with image. this yeah. and we correct with that. Wow. That's wow. wild how it does it. That's incredible. That is freaking awesome. Amazing. So without so this system, handle. without this system, you would have the resolution of uh, 10 centimeters, wow. 7 centimeters. Okay. Okay. So you need that. Every big telescope, they need this AI wow. system, adaptive optics system. Yeah, get all the stuff Yeah, <laughs> there are a lot of, <laughs> lot of flat mirrors. And so that's the multi-conjugate adaptive optics system that we uh, tested. Yeah, that's the test bed. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks complicated, but it's just very long. It's just flat Focusing, mirrors. It's just yeah. Probably. Getting it fine, more fine tuned and more fine tuned as it passes. That's why I have to call myself as a light vendor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's what I do. I design stuff to light, to bend the light. You're it's your own avatar character. Yeah. <laughs> I love this part. Like I said, this is my favorite part. All the focusing of the mirrors and capturing the photonic aspect. Awesome. I'm glad we got to see this part again. The triple mirrors. There is so much involved to make these telescopes work properly. It's mind blowing. So much involved. The connected row of magnifiers. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of plug. This is also how they do laser. Um, yeah. Like that's why it makes me think of the Val Kilmer movie, Real oh, Genius. Everything. Yeah. They do that laser project that burns oh, yeah, all the way yeah. across the whole university. Yeah. I do remember that. Oh, you had school the whole time, Nick. Nicola, you're holding on you're really on us. <laughs> this is epic. It so is. What you hear here, that's another infrared camera that is cooled down. This one is not as, it's not as cool as the one upstairs. It's the uh, compressor I'm hearing. 90 degrees Kelvin. Keeping it cold. Yeah. Uh, but that's a closed circuit system that keeps it cold. Yeah. yeah. So that's like a fridge essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's got a compressor on it. Yes. That's what I, yeah, that's that buzz. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, and so we do also measure a magnetic field. Uh, oh, polarization. Okay. Right? Yes. The polarization cool. impact. Polarization is the rotation, ah, yeah. rotation of the light. The filament. Mm -hmm. And so we have a complex system to measure the polarization. So it gives us extra information to understand the behavior of the sun. Mm. So that system is going to have inside the spectrum. How the interactions are going to, how volatile they will be depending on the pools and stuff, huh? So you have circular polarization, sure. linear polarization, mm -hmm. because of something. Gosh, there's about so behavior. much technology. Like there's more than one. Hey guys, this is so much technology. I, I can't put my mind around it. And so, oh my gosh, this is Yeah. <laughs> you noticed that a second ago. <laughs> well, we haven't used that. The table up there in a long time, so that's mm -hmm. okay. Oh, I see it too now. But, but uh, you know, what you see here, those things, you know, are filters, they are filters, and that's because, uh, you know, you want to be in a clean environment. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's uh, mm -hmm. the cool. again. We don't have, the uh, biggest issue. We don't have the best room. I used to have those in my good old days. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but that keeps, you know, the dust control kind of control. We still always have dust falling Just on the good old days. <laughs> and from time to time, you have to blow the air to remove yeah. dust. Uh, sometimes you have insects flying here, you know. The morning you come up, you have an insect there, you don't see it. <laughs> and and right. during the day you observe and then you see a defocused oh, insect moving on your camera. I know. That happens sometimes. Yeah. Uh, we also have to keep this room uh, very well controlled thermally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooler there. so cooler there. We have cooler, we have heaters. Because those systems, those uh, filters I showed you, yeah. uh, they are very sensitive to yes. temperature. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So a little bit of temperature change and it will change the, the way we are it. Wow. So do these um, pieces uh, come off? The lens cover the plastic. Yeah, these yep. come off when you use it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. We try to protect, you know, all those bags. Uh, exactly, for, just to for try dust. to keep it. Yeah. I know, I, I try to tell my son, you gotta, you gotta cover the telescope. I have to take our telescope apart to, yeah. to clean the mirror and yeah. take the face yeah. off. Because uh, it's, it, it got left hey, do you have any, yeah, do you have any advice? 
on cleaning that. Uh, now it, it unscrews the bottom unscrews. I know, but like two liquids are like uh, yeah, you can use um, you can use alcohol. Alcohol, okay, alcohol yeah, we have or, or whatever, that depends, because that depends what you have on it, really. if it's organic, like uh, bird proof. Or yeah, no, we don't have any of that, it's just dust. Uh, it's just dust yeah, it's dust, yeah, yeah. so alcohol is good. Yeah. Or just air. Usually, First you don't air. want to go in contact with optics. You want to avoid yeah, any contact. If you have to, you want to avoid it. Okay. Yeah. it. Ah. So air is better than anything else. Yeah, okay, and so if you try. cannot remove that, then you have to go further. further okay. Okay. Yeah. And go into contact, yeah. Yeah, I think we can just use like an air. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You gotta cover it. You gotta cover it. Yeah, I need to make a cover of wood for it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that's the spectrograph. Yeah, that's a Korean. Oh, okay. Spectrograph. Korean. Korean. Yeah. So we get the Korean Wait, photography. What really? Korean. Huh? No, oh, not Korean. Korean. Oh, Korean. Korean. Oh. <laughs> that's a little different. Well, you know. Russia made those. Korean cameras are like the spectrograph, I think. So that's uh, it's, that's it's a what? that's a spectrograph on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A different type of instrument. Okay. And so you have all those instruments here, and the science scientist will decide mm -hmm. for the day what he wants to observe for his science purpose. Where's this one? So that's why there's a box that's... over there named Fizz. Yeah. Because the Fizz has engine. Yeah. Ah, there you go, yeah. That's a vacuum pump. Yeah. Okay. So that's to vacuum this camera over there. Once oh, it's yeah. cool down, yeah. whenever you cool down, you want to remove the air. To yeah, reduce the conductivity, yeah. the conductivity so it stays cold. You could use that as an experiment on a, in a vacuum seal. Very cool. Very cool. All right, now we can go to the control room. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. My channel is called Big Bear Weather and More. Oh, cool. Okay. Go subscribe. So, Thanks, man. Okay. Remember, the, I told cool. you about constructions. We yeah. have done everything before there were no windows there. Okay. So now it's all more open and nicer. Mm -hmm. The control so that's room. That's where the uh, observers sit and stay here. You see, it's warm. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. you got, and you got a nice little view. Yeah. Nice control room. Mm -hmm. So that's how we control. We have always, we keep an eye on those cameras. This one rides with the dome and make sure that the dome is aligned with the telescope. Yeah. Weather, we keep an eye on weather here okay. and here. Okay. We keep an eye on the pointing of the telescope. So here, this camera is looking at the heat stop upstairs, yeah. mm -hmm. the dangerous spot on the image oh, of the yeah, sun. Yeah. So we make sure that it's where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Here, we look at the deformable mirror, than the one that is in the room, just to make sure that the light goes in center very well. Right. Sometimes, Sometimes the camera decides not to work. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, this Big here is just a way to control the secondary mirror to keep the telescope aligned, primary and okay. secondary during the day. So there's a clever algorithm here that moves secondary in specific way to keep this alignment stable. Mm. That's the adaptive optics. Um, Yes, okay, yeah, yeah. Open this to see it better. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there's no image today, but uh, usually, yeah, there's a tiny here, there's a tiny field here, we look at the sun. Mm -hmm. Tiny field here, and then there's the same image all over. Yeah. And with a clever system here, we can reconstruct the turbulence. Mm -hmm. And then that's the, that's the deformable mirror, and this, during the day, when we observe these things, changes colors. Okay. Is colors to show, the, to indicate how the, the values. How the, you know, much spending. Right. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific formula that y'all have? Like, the long formula that it uses? Is it AI? <laughs> no, lots of long is it AI? Is AI doing it? Or no, AI knows. You guys? It's actual intelligence, not artificial. <laughs> way better. Way better. <laughs> well, well, it's coming. Oh. Improvement with AI. In the future, there should be some AI to improve the system. Yes, for sure. Yeah, maybe. I'm sure. It's I'm with you. <laughs> Keep the creator. Keep the humans doing it. No, it's not the human doing it. It's, well, it's the computer. It's an actual algorithm doing it. I, okay, well that's better than AI it. doesn't really. As at least as I understand, so most box. AI applications. Yes, it's a black box. Not, not only to it's, us, but it's, it's also a black box to the AI. It doesn't it's, know it's, why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and who knows what it's gonna do next? Yeah. So that's the GUI, the control for the telescope and the dome. Also, so that's the central part of the room because that's the most important. Right, yeah. <laughs> that's how you, you move the telescope and the right. so that's how, how you point a different position on the sun and so on. So that's how open I can control it from upstairs. I have the same GUI upstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn it off. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Here we have the logging system. Whenever something happens, we keep log, log, everything logs so that the scientist. He's looking at the data, he's like, what's going on here? Why do we jump? <laughs> and then you look at the lockers, okay. That's okay. Yeah, so that's okay. Yeah. Um, 
we have here an image, not now, but that's what you saw earlier in a small dome. Small. That's the same, same thing that you saw over there okay. to okay. keep an eye on the telescope. And that's also our context imager. So we can click anywhere on the sun and this big telescope will go, we go, we go there. Are we looking from above too? <laughs> this way also we can control everything that... Uh, that's a, just, just an image. No, that's, a, that's an old picture. Oh, it's an several, image. I thought you know, I had like several, some sort of drone on No, it. we had, we had, well, several years ago, they had a, an alumni event for the university, and they sent out a team of people with a drone. They had it. They, they had it. Okay. Yeah. I thought, like, is there some sort of stationary stick or something? <laughs> so that's where I got that picture. Oh, it's cute. I like it. It's a nice shot. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah, a nice shot. Nice. Yeah. And then we have those um, monitors here showing the yeah. different instruments. Yeah. So all the instruments are on those monitors here. Yeah. Yeah. This one is flipping through images right here. What a cool control room you guys. So here is a, a video from yesterday, raw. So again, that can be better than that, but that's what we captured yesterday. Wow. Oh, okay, cool. During the day, you have the time stamp here. Ah. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of things we observed yesterday. Nice. Uh, then these images will yeah, go in the cool. pipeline and be processed to be improved. Be improved. Yeah, man. But that's the raw mm. data. Yeah. You can see the rotation. Yeah. That's because the telescope is rotating, oh, so the nice. image is rotating. We don't have a derotator. Some of yeah. the telescopes, we have a system see. to compensate for ah. that, but we don't. Right, right. You can see the whole sun flashing. Wow. Oh, that's, um, is that the flashing effect? is probably some uh, turbulence or something, and we lose a lot. The atmosphere. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very cool, Nick. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And what about on uh, this? Oh, Do we have some raw videos too? We should have something. But look at that view too. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's spectacular. The fog yeah. rolling in is really nice. It is spectacular. You can keep an eye on the ducks. <laughs> I love the view. So we're not just observing the sun also. We're oh, observing yeah. all the this weather, ecosystem the above system, us. Yeah. Oh, next to us. No way. No way. Definitely feel like we're in a special spot, like you said. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, this would be a nice office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? It's <laughs> distracting. I, 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 I can imagine. I, I can know. imagine. Oh, that duck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not this one. The big From bird yesterday, I was yeah. pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. pretty good image of the time a bird landed on the weather camera. <laughs> That's funny. So that's another video, but from a different instrument, looking at different wavelengths, different mm -hmm. colors. And that's from yesterday, too? That's from yesterday. Cool. Yeah, the oh, wow, it's, a bit, a it's a bit dim there, but, uh, but you see those, those features Earth. moving. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. the scene was not great to start with, and it gets better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you see those things dancing. And if you look at the... Spiraling, this is... You see, like... this is the time. So it's all speeded up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when you sit here, you don't see that motion. You, no. you, you feel like there's no real motion. Right. Slow, but then you speed yeah. it up and then you see it. Mm -hmm. See some brightening here. Yo. Oh. Wow. Oh. I didn't know they cut some. There were a few little rings yesterday. Nice. Oh, yesterday was Friday. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I'm on weekend. I sometimes feel it when they hit. Like, we'll get nauseous. Our family, like, we we'll like, is there a solar, a geomagnetic storm going on? And we'll look. And yep. Yeah, oh, someone will notice we'll get a headache ah. or something. Okay, that's, uh, yeah. that's so nice. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah, look how fast it goes here. It's cool if you're not trying to observe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Or walk to your of car. course, of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. At the same time, you don't have to observe. So, we have, <laughs> awesome. new, we have a new all-sky camera that we're having. Oh, yeah. And so that's one oh. of the pictures from that. Oh, yeah. So that's looking out towards the dam. Yeah, now you can see Which is kind of nice since it's we don't have a window nice. that direction. So. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> And that's where it comes. Um, that's where a lot of the weather comes yeah. from. So it's good. Exactly. I've popped the dome the normal way, and maybe we may want to. Even, maybe. Because we may have some snow, according to Mr. Yeah. Well, there's, there's the yeah. slightest chance. Yeah. Slightest yeah. chance. Yeah. Dusty, uh, down to 6,500 feet. So oh, we're, wow. that's, that's, that's below us. 
It's about here. Yeah. It's just <laughs> September. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this, 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 this would be the earliest snow that I've experienced. It would be the, the earliest snowfall I've experienced in the, in, in, in the nine years. Yeah. Yeah. We've been here since 2012 and it hasn't snowed this early. The, the earliest we experienced was like just before Halloween. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. It's more typical. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm predicting a heavy winter. I agree with you. I, I, I agree with you. I'm going to say... I don't know. Say, yeah. Arna, no. They spray. I, I need to be they a heavy winter. <laughs> they spray for my YouTube off channel. In the sky to make it snow more. That's all I got to say about that. I know that. The weather could be manipulated. I need it to snow enough so that I can rent a, a bobcat so I can plow instead of shovel. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where the uh, money's at. Do you guys want to see? Yeah, computers? Ooh, we got, oh, we got computers. Lots of computers in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's, who's model yeah. Citroen is there? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> wow. Wow. So we want to keep that most likely here. And then you have the computers for the, the telescope. Wow. Yeah, y'all are too dusty. So much. So oh, the adaptive optics. So much. Fast computer. Uh, controllers for the different mirror mirrors, for the secondary mirror. Everything is cooled down, of course, because those are generating a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also some archive system, so we need to, the data, once we are done with the data, we, we have to archive it. We archive it on disk, but also on text. So, oh, uh, really? you know, old tapes, oh, cool. well, oh, yeah. it's, 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 it's little, still tapes, but it's yeah. not the same technology yeah. than uh, 20 Most years ago, even yeah. 10 years ago. They evolved, yeah. but it still looks like a, a tape. Yeah. And that's a very secure system, that's why we still use that. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow, guys. Oh, the newer tech is always more backwards. I mean, look at all these systems right here. Look at all these systems. It's unbelievable. I mean, just to run a telescope. It's, it's just incredible. Golly. You can picture that little machine right there records like uh, electricity wave like that. Records the waves and electricity. You know what? Exactly what it's called. But you know your stuff, dude. It's called Big Bear Weather and More. Okay. So for the past eight and a half years, I drive around and I record all our storms. I've never missed one nice. pre, during, and after. Oh, cool. And I have 21,000 subscribers now. Which, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, it's, it's That's a, very yeah, cool. yeah, people love Big Bear, it's such a beautiful place. Oh, they place do, here. they love it so much. I'm telling you, weather is very important for us, it's big time, uh -huh, exactly. big time, We're high up. <laughs> big time, <laughs> beautiful views of the sky. Oh, yeah, I've actually you captured you a U. I've seen a UFO up here, you. even like, um, in the sky. I think it's a waste of money. What what is? Well, the city approved cloud seeding last year, so oh. they're, bu they're building they're building ground based. Did you hear about that? It. They don't know what they're doing. Nobody knows. No, they they put the seeding there. It's raining over there. <laughs> you don't know. Well, they're using the heart. They're using the high active oral research. And it has to be UV program. enough. There's no humidity in the air. Yeah, that is true. They make they're. Yeah, I don't want it to go outside. But when they spray them ionic, when they make them ionic, it actually attracts the water because it the. The electrons on the outside are not bonded, and so the water wants to bond with it. Hydrophilic. And, yeah, and so that's how they get the water to attract to the metal particulate. They ionize it, and then they use the high active rural research program to um, create scalar waves, which are spiraling waves that they can direct things and do things with it. Silver particles. Yes. Um, and silver, silver, barium, aluminum. aluminum. Oxide, barium, yeah. barium oxide. I've been doing research for oh, over free, a decade. Free barium. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gnarly. Wow. Um, I, 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 I'd, I'd like to get a filter collection things. system here so that we can do an air sample of our area because people in other cities have set an air filter out for 24 hours and then sent the filter into a lab to have it tested. And the amount of hot, heavy metal particles uh strange biological yeah. formations and different things that aren't normally present in our atmosphere they're picking up like well, three times the toxic level of uh, aluminum. aluminum oxide 
barium oxide, like all kinds of stuff. We um, actually, before we got our house, we lived in a tent up here for nine months. So we were able to like literally witness them spraying the weather, spraying and then the weather, the water accumulating to the trails. They're not cons, right? They're not. And I've seen the pumps and everything, pictures of it. And I've had Marines tell me that they're, they, they spray them. They're forced to spray it and they can't talk about it or they'll get court marked. That's interesting. It's, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Pay, pay, yeah. It's crazy. definitely, definitely interesting. It's the city's city now going to pay to have it done mm -hmm. intentionally to secure our ski season. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to ionize. The, the ones they spray from the planes are ionized. Maybe if we switch up our contracts for letting Redlands and all of them have Control. a bunch of our water. Supposedly, those contracts ended this year. No way. Oh, really? That's what I heard. That oh, we're cool. we're gonna get, we're gonna start getting to keep our water. What about Nestle? Does it Nestle? I would still love. And that. actually, um, I would love that. The people that run the the water control agency, whatever, down there, um, I have actually, oh, sorry, <laughs> have actually just filed for an injunction to stop Arrowhead Water from being oh, able to take go. water from our mountains. Cool. That would be so fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And they, the 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 corporation's trying to say that they're overreaching and they don't have right to control it and stuff. It's like. Mm, no, I'll pay nothing for it. Yeah. Nature takes precedent. Well, sir, thank you for being a part. Oh, yeah. yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it big time. I appreciate you. I'm a hugger. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for the work you guys do. It's important. And I, and I definitely feel like the solar activity affects earthquakes, all that stuff. So it's definitely important. And we appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for doing this for our family. I appreciate my pleasure, my pleasure. If I can mm -hmm. thank you so much. Help him to sorry my, my hand is right, sorry. Uh, help him to or motivate him to go into science. Yeah. Oh yeah. Further into science. He wants to um, start with um, photography, space photography. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because That's why we're looking at telescopes and possibly yeah. getting a yeah. dome and That's stuff right. because I'd like to wants, further that. He really wants to own his own rocket company. Yeah. Rocks. I'm Obsidian Man. You want to take people? He's looking. He's looking at uh, the independently. Like you can buy your own satellite. satellite. Yeah, CubeSat. But it's like one hundred fifty thousand dollars and stuff like that. There's schools. There's schools are doing this actually. That, yeah. uh, that makes satellites. They'll buy. Yeah, you can go to the school. Yeah. So if you go to a level, maybe you don't have to go in a high level. Maybe you can go to so California. So just choosing probably the right school. I would do that. Yeah. 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 yeah you can go to CIT. Oh, no. I mean. But oh, you see the kind of things we, we see here, it's a lot of fun. Really. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in it, in it it's really Are there internships like here? Yeah. What is that? Are there internships here? Um, we have, oh. we have, uh, no, we have uh, programs. Are uh, um, you students coming here? Mm -hmm. This is crazy. crazy. Uh, Which students that come here doing from summer. universities? Yes. Can you believe all, okay, all of this so just to power a telescope and up. gather as much yeah. information as possible? Uh, this whole building years. full of it's all these electronics is all for the telescope. It's amazing. Four years. Two months in the US. No, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Grade, so oh, okay. I'm just so graduate. I'm sorry. Less than okay. one year up to four years. Yeah. Oh, okay. So every That's year now we have then. students here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. And we have. Plenty of projects, you know. Yeah. We have very small staff here, so it's always useful and helpful to have students coming here and helping us. So it's a win-win situation here. Very cool. It was so sunny. It was so sunny before. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 We'll show on for a second, and then we'll say our goodbyes. We'll turn it back on. But I hope you guys have been enjoying us. Offices, if you want to see, that was my old, my old office. So we're back at the bottom level, you guys, where we started. Now we're going into Nick's old office. It's like you're in the water. It's like you're in the water. Yeah, that'd be hard to work. It's because I feel like you're on a boat sometimes. You know, you're like, wait, you like, wait, why am I feeling? Oh my God. When I was in this office, there was no water. That was last year. Mm -hmm. oh. was far away. Yeah. Well, last year, that was very distracting. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, I mean, like we've gone now. So now we did. You did us right. Yep. Yeah, I did. <laughs> sure did. Yeah. Here we have a uh, electronic shop. It's cold going to the car. Mm. I'll give you my jacket. Mm. It was so sunny. So we have a little mechanic 
Okay. Oh, cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. This is their wood shop. Well, I don't do too much with circuits. But well, you are. I know, machine, I know machinery. Yeah, exactly. yeah, we have a workshop, a big one, I'm sure. Cool. So, what is your So, Jamie, when you are in this type of institute, you have optics, of course. Mm -hmm. So, lenses, uh, doublets, mirrors, and everything. You have mechanics to hold those things together. You have electronics to control the motions and everything. And you have a uh, software co computing to control also those things. So you have those four main things that we uh, skills that we need in an observatory. And of course the scientist. And here we all have uh, different hats. Mm -hmm. So we all have we all do different jobs. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I do the observations. I do the management and I do the optics okay. cool. and other people who do, you know, They're like John's observers, well. but also he takes care of the archives. <laughs> uh, okay, computer. Yes. Same here. Before I leave you guys, thank you. Yeah. Let me uh, get back to your channel and then I want you guys to just, once we're out there, just mention your channel sure. again. And, uh, I gotta start my channel, but I'll have people. I have stuff. Bit. I she's got to. she's she's got all kinds of I upper echelon spiritual and scientific information knowledge to share. Fantastic. Oh, I'm, 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 years I'm a I'm a chef and handyman, so I'm going to do like food and like tool tips and stuff like that. Probably. That's awesome, man. Maybe <laughs> there is a place to come to just make wow. your own way. Whoa. See a different door. We're an improvement. Oh yeah. yeah. That was the old, if you see uh, the dome like that, that was probably old picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before our time. Okay. So that was before 19... I was short. Oh, so no, it was before... only like... 2002 like... maybe? Mm -hmm. Before 2002. Oh, okay. It so was that... shorter? I thought you said... Yeah, the building. So this part is the same. Thanks for subscribing. Okay. It's just... Yeah. It's just this so it's like right here. It's just this yeah, part it's just, it's just yeah. like that yeah. long thing. Did that? <laughs> and that's, yeah. <laughs> that's why the telescope is down on this Yeah, this is more of a circle. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I see. Cool. Yeah. It's such a pretty racer too. Good shot. Here, baby. It's like the little Christmas. Where you go, Ted? No, but you don't have to get cold. Okay. Yes. You're awesome, dude. Where are you going? Good husband. My stuff is. He has a restroom if you need to. I can go there. Okay. I need overalls. Hi, guys. Hi, yeah, overalls. That was it. <laughs> that was it. This is my happy hippie handyman outfit. <laughs> Thank you. After boots. Wow, Nick. That was yeah. awesome, bro. Oh, look at that. What a change. And as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna have to go out and start doing this video. All right. Beautiful. It is spectacular. I'm loving this. Angel TG Christ it's spelled like Christ with a Y and TG is T I E T J E and I have a blog it's live it's Christy 9 so spelled the same Christy like Christ with a Y 9 spelled out at livejournal.com and I talk about quantum physics I talk about spirituality I talk about MK Ultra and the CIA which my family had links to all kinds of stuff so I'd love to have any of you guys you know come and join the discussion awesome well, and thank I you. I appreciate your work here. I, uh, the weather is so important because it's one of those hot button issues right now. So. It really is. <laughs> it really, it is. really is. And I'm so obsessed with it. As, as, as I said, for eight and a half years being here, I've never missed a single storm. I have 3,300 videos just in eight and a half years. <laughs> I've been photographing the chemtrail since, um, I guess, like 2008. So, and I started paying attention to the weather a lot more when I found that out. So. But I've gone into areas that, you know, not mainstream, not mainstream, definitely, so. But deep science, for sure. Like I was talking about the, the ionics. They, that's how they get the water to bond to the metal. They make it ionic so that the outside
outside electrons are um, there's not a, there's not a full eight on the outside, and so they want to water wants to bond with it. Yeah. And that's how they can get the water to bond with the metal, and then they can use energy to direct the metal. You and your family here are some, some, some pretty, pretty bright people. <laughs> yeah. I did take yeah. advanced sciences. I was in the gifted and talented program and stuff like that. So. And this young man, he's 16 years old, and uh, sounds like he's already an established scientist. He's homeschooled. Yeah, he's homeschooled. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, we got our own, uh, we got a microscope, and he does science experiments. Medical, even like he's got little kits that we get that he does as well. But That's we also awesome. learn we learn stuff outside of the norm for sure. Well, I guess you'd say uh, graduate type information, not, not going going against the grain type thinking. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We follow the money and then we look where the money isn't going because a lot of times <laughs> the money's paying for things that you know to tell to tell truths that are not really truths. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Look at those independent scientists. Conspiracies, uh -huh, galore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Deep spiracies. Oh, yeah. And I've done my hardcore work because my family was involved with stuff. You know? my, um, my grandfather was an electronic weapons specialist for the Aerospace Defense Department. So That's awesome. He had top secret clearance. So there was stuff going on, and I had to yes, get to the bottom of stuff. You know? He also worked on the Apollo mission system. Yeah, that's awesome. Supervisor for it. Mm -hmm. you, so I'll bet there's a chance he, he might know my uncle Theodore Clark, who's he's 87 now, but he's he worked at JPL for so many years, he built did. and designed the heat shield for the Galileo, ran the Juno missions. Oh wow! Yeah, he's he's the most incredibly bright man, and when he's talking about astronomy it's it's uh, even if if you don't care you are so enthralled like like he has so much energy it's just, i wish, we, I wish we could ask him her grandfather passed away in 2007 yeah. oh i'm he so sorry actually, oh, uh, he was actually was... killed by the hospital yep um he, he, had, had, information. he, had, he had above top secret clearances and uh -huh. stuff like that and stuff started coming out you know like things yeah. were being leaked and so they didn't want people they wanted to eliminate as many people as they could that could leak the info because electronic weapons you know yeah sure that's getting big right now <laughs> Well, hey, let Thank me uh, so much. say our our goodbyes here. Appreciate you. We have Everybody. to hang out sometimes. <laughs> Very nice to meet you, too. We got to have you over at our house and hang out. Nice to meet you, bro. Great meet you, Nick. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> and so, I'm Marshall TG. The Happy Hippie Handyman is my uh, construction business. Um, I'm also a woodworker. I do wood art at the uh, carving shop next to where Kmart used to be. But... Um, our mission business is the farm to mountain.com farm to mountain and um, we have locally sourced farms certified organic, organic that we take orders online and deliver to locals here in town mm -hmm. that's awesome we're that's looking awesome. for a new, a new farm that can handle more business so we're a little bit on hiatus because the eight there the 38 got messed up and stuff yeah we but can't go down on the same routes and stuff yeah to we're get looking to, the farm to revamp and, yeah. in the spring we're gonna re we're gonna start up yeah so so Keep Exciting. a lookout for a Budget Organic Cuisine channel from me. Uh, I'll be giving tips and recipes and videos, instructions, stuff like that to show people how they can improve their health eating organic without spending a ton of money. That's, yep. awesome. That's awesome. Right on, man. Love you guys. Peace and love, everybody. <laughs> Peace and love, for sure. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Happiness. Enjoy the have weather. Awesome day, man. You guys have an awesome, awesome day also. Thank you, Nicola. See you next it's, time, been yeah. it's been a real Great pleasure. It's been a real pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Later, guys. Bye. All right, guys. Well, let's say bye to our pal Nick. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Give me a hug, buddy. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Yeah. Hope that was not too much information and uh, that my accent was clear. Oh, it was beautiful. Especially every time you say mirror. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, once again, thank you, Nick. And uh, yeah, we are all super, super thankful for you. And uh, um, yeah, hopefully when they come and visit the observatory, when they see you, they'll say hi, Nick. Yeah, so we give tours during summer. Uh, I think this week, this uh, season we restarted and I was uh, twice a month, I think. And it's on Thursday. And you can check online on our website, uh, bbso.njit.edu. Okay. Uh, we stopped, I think, the tours for this season because uh, weather is not going to 
be nice and uh, we're gonna have to walk inside the domes and do some work but yeah check out uh, next year probably in may maybe we will start again the tours fantastic all right guys well if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave a comment and uh if it's something i don't know i will pass the question along to nick and see about getting an, an, an answer from him but all the questions the more questions the better um thank you again nick My we, pleasure. we appreciate you tremendously and uh yeah we'll talk to you guys later